Welcome to What's Up Kids. Today is the eighth Sunday of Ordinary Time. Ordinary Time is a long season in the church where we focus on growing as followers of Jesus. One way we grow as followers of Jesus is by studying his teachings. Jesus was a master teacher and used parables to teach people about God's kingdom. A parable is a short story that uses ordinary things to help people understand. If Jesus told parables today, he might use a cell phone or a tablet, sports equipment, or even a family calendar or schedule to make his point. There are some stories that Jesus told in Matthew's gospel involving seeds, yeast, fishnets, and even treasure. I wonder what Jesus meant with each of these stories. There's only one way to find out, so let's dive in. Jesus told the people a story. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed that a man plants in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it grows, it is the largest of all garden plants. It becomes a tree big enough for the birds to come and make nests in its branches. Then Jesus told them another story. God's kingdom is like yeast that a woman mixes into a big bowl of flour to make bread. The yeast makes all the dough rise. Jesus used stories to tell all these things to the people. He always used stories to teach them. This was to make clear the full meaning of what the prophet said. I will speak using stories. I will tell things that have been secrets since the world was made. Then Jesus told another story. God's kingdom is like a treasure hidden in a field. One day, a man found the treasure. He hid it again and was so happy that he went and sold everything he owned and bought the field. Jesus then said, God's kingdom is also like a merchant looking for fine pearls. One day, he found a very fine pearl. He went and sold everything he had to buy it. Jesus also said, God's kingdom is like a net that was put into the lake. The net caught many different kinds of fish. It was so full, the fishermen pulled it to shore. They sat down and put all the good fish in baskets. Then they threw away the bad fish. It will be the same at the end of time. The angels will come and separate the evil people from the godly people. They will throw the evil people into the place of fire. There the people will cry and grind their teeth with pain. Then Jesus asked his followers, Do you understand all these things? They said, yes, we understand. Then Jesus said to the followers, So every teacher of the law who has learned about God's kingdom has some new things to teach. He is like the owner of a house. He has new things and old things saved in that house, and he brings out the new with the old. In each of these stories, Jesus tells us that God's kingdom is for everyone. It is precious like treasure and something that grows and brings life. In order to digest these truths further, take a few minutes and discuss the following with your family. Jesus said God's kingdom is like the tiniest of seeds that is planted and grows into the largest of trees, so all the birds can make their nests there. Any ideas what that could mean? Jesus also said God's kingdom is like a treasure and like a packet of yeast that makes bread rise. Any ideas about these parables? What might it mean that God's kingdom is like a beautiful pearl or a fish net that catches all different kinds of fish? Jesus' parables remind us that God's kingdom comes all the way into the daily duties and routines of our lives and changes them into big and wonderful things. 
In order to further explore this life-changing message, there are a number of activities for you to try on the Kids at Home page, which is located on the Holy Cross website. But before you begin your activity or head off to your next thing, I would love to pray with you. So go ahead and grab your elbows or fold your hands, close your eyes so you're not distracted by what others may or may not be doing around you, and then we're going to get really quiet as we talk to the one who created us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for our time together in What's Up Kids. We love coming together to hear your good word. Lord, thank you for teaching us in ways that we understand and for making your kingdom a welcoming place for everyone. Amen.